All right, and this is build three. This is the third build I was looking at based on this MI shield, Tomb Soul. Um, when I looked at this, I think a lot of people were probably, when they first looked at it, they thought, oh, Aegis, like uh, Aether Aegis of Men here. That seems interesting. But when I saw it, the first thing I saw was 12% chance to block to Spectral Binding, 12% chance to block to Flame Touch. That's 24% chance to block on a Defiler, as well as 95% elemental damage to Aether damage. Just global. Um, 130% Aether damage to Flame Touched. 40% um, uh, was it 12% elemental resistance to Spectral Binding. 40% shield damage blocked to Spectral Binding, 35% uh, shield recovery time to Flame Touched, as well as the Siphon Soul ability, which reduces Aether Res on, on block. So I looked at this and I'm like, okay, so I can get 61% chance to block with no affixes, no uh, components, and no, um, what's it called? Uh, augments and the damage blocked is 3200 or 3020 damage so I have a 3000 damage reduction every time I block 60% block recovery um, which means I have a what is that point I want to say point four point two point three to point five second block recovery so every so i can block like two or three times a second whenever i'm being hit um and then i basically make everybody around me take aether damage and have aether reduction um i also have a seven percent chance to dodge which doesn't really matter and 15 percent physical res and this is in just the base greens um no CC reduction resistance now a decent decent res is actually this is a decent res start um, the health is really low in this build um, that's the only thing I've been looking at is the health is really low um, again looking at these new rings which are aether damage um, searing light is nice because it adds fumble another defensive layer so I was looking at this and I'm like Okay, so I know I want to play a shield damage build. What am I going to do with it? What kind of damage am I going to do? Well, I have no idea. Uh, so I ended up going, like, looking at this helmet. And this helmet gives me more Aether damage to Flame Touch. Um, so that makes up... So that's basically like 250% Aether damage to Flame Touch. As well as flat Aether damage to Flame Touch. And plus one, plus one skills to all Demolitionists. Flat Aether damage, um, and 100% Chaos converted to Aether damage, as well as 100% Fire converted to Aether damage. So this helmet just overall helps me for damage-wise. Um, and I found this pistol that was, I believe, Season Three. Is this? You know, this is Season. This might be Season Four. Yeah. So this is another a new another new pistol. So this allows Reaping Strike to have pass through. So Reaping Strike can do 100% pass through, and the Vitality is converted to Aether damage. So now Reaping Strike is 100% Aether damage. It also gives me a global 45% piercing to Aether damage conversion, um, as well as physical to Aether damage, a little bit of physical to Aether damage on the thing, and attack speed. So that's nice, um, depending on what um, affixes I get on it. And... Uh, more spectral binding and everything. Look at the chest piece. There wasn't really a good chest piece, so I went for the one that's like vitality to aether damage. So this is the best I got. And it's plus three to reaping strike. Pants. Spectral wrath is nice. Um, I was thinking about going the attack damage to health solile pants, but I needed the... Uh, well, I thought I needed... Actually, I think I might end up going solile pants instead of these pants. But having the chance to avoid melee attacks is pretty nice. I made this character super tanky. Um, Impurity, the Necromancer, basically Aether damage. Um, I think I have enough percent Aether damage where I can swap this out with Serenity. 
Um, but the Aether Vitality damage on attack is pretty nice. A Demolitionist Belt, um, I lose Aether damage on this. I don't get any Aether damage from this. The Fire damage is converted to um, Aether damage. Retaliation damage does not really matter. Um, Vindictive Flame is nice. All one Plus one to all Demolitionists is nice. But... I could do better in this belt, but there's not really much options for Aether Defiler. Um, I have no better MI uh, metal that I could find. Uh, there's, this is just trash, basically. Fire damage is converted to, uh, what's it called? Uh, Aether damage, so it helps, but again, just Aether damage boots because I'm try I need to make up for the lack of damage on my belt. Um, Aether damage this. I'm not really using stun jacks at all, but Aether Lightning is pretty nice because it's Aether damage and 95% Aether damage. So it's 195% Aether damage. Um, and it's 10% chance on attack with a high attack speed. Um, this is elemental to Aether damage, so it's even more. like So this basically makes it 100%, more than 100% elemental to Aether damage uh, because of these uh, shoulders. This also gives me percent armor increase, which is really nice overall to help this build. It makes it even more tanky. Um, I don't have a good necklace, so I just picked Flame Touched. Um, so it's like 4 Aether damage. The, the offensive ability is nice from it. Percent offensive ability is really nice, as well as percent increased armor. Two of the main reasons I took it. Um, looking at the skills... Uh, Reaping Strike is going to be our big damage. Well, we just put one point into Necrotic Edge to have another weapon pool skill. Uh, the Mastery is we get attack damage converted to health, Aether damage, um, physical to vitality, which doesn't help, and as well as attack speed. Um, Spectral Binding gives us health and offensive ability, as well as Aether damage, which is nice, um, plus all the MI stuff, and then we get minus Aether res with this. Six points in Market Torment is probably one of the best ways to go with it. Uh, after six points, it's only 1% increased damage absorption, and it's on such a long cooldown, it's not really worth it. Um, Demolitionist, getting five points into Blast Shield as our butt save uh, for now. Pushing as much as we can into Fire Strikes abilities because the weapon is Aether damage, and that Fire damage is converted to Aether damage. Weapon damage is Aether damage. A percent, like, basically a little bit of the physical damage is converted into Aether damage. And the area range is really nice. Just one point in this. Um, sure, the lightning damage is converted into Aether damage, but the percent fire damage and the knockdown doesn't really matter so much. Um, fire damage, like, four to five fragments, which is really nice to spray, because you can also shotgun certain bosses depending on how you set them up. And fire damage, 100% to aether damage. Chaos damage, 100% to aether damage. So that's really nice. Um, flashbang, so we can actually uh, crit things because it reduces their defensive ability. Um, Searing light, that's a one-pointer, but we got nine because of the rings. Just get impaired aim and fumble, which is super defensive. 11 points is the sweet spot. Just one point here, one point here. And we max out this again for more aether shred. So we get 39% Aether Resistance Reduction here, and 30% Aether reduction, Resistance Reduction here. So it's a lot of Aether Shred. Um, we just picked Blackwater Cocktail. Um, we don't really need the damage reduction because the gun has a special ability that allows it to reduce target's damage by 13%. Um, so we, we're going to use that ability to reduce their damage, so we didn't have to put points into the Blackwater Cocktail damage reduction but we do want to we're, we're using blackwater cocktail to max out flat resistance reduction so we don't have to go for elemental storm so this saves us elemental storm i want to put more points uh, into flame touched and uh temper but it'll depend basically on affixes what i change and what i put points into because if i have not enough defensive ability i'm going to put more points into temper if i have enough not of, enough offensive ability i put more points into flame touch but Flame Touch gives me all those bonuses, which is like physical damage, Aether damage, 255% Aether damage, 50% Elemental damage converted to Aether damage, 100% Fire damage converted to Aether damage, 100% Chaos damage converted to Aether damage, 8% Offensive ability, minus 35% Shield recovery time, 
and plus 12% shield block chance. So overall, this is a really solid defensive character. Um, and for abilities, I went Super Proc City. Um, I went uh, Aether Fire. It's Aether Damage, and 100% of Fire Damage is Aether Damage, so double Aether Damage. Um, this has a 3 second duration and no cooldown. So this being on Blackwater Cocktail, which is what I put it on, means that this will proc over and over and over again every time Blackwater Cocktail ticks on something. And this damage can stack um, over a 2.5 meter radius. This, this is the most damaging uh, devotion in the game because it because it doesn't have a cooldown um, so this with Blackwater Cocktail is just so much damage um, I took this uh, Viper for my percent reduced uh, reduction because I'm using a melee or I'm using a, a default attack I put uh, this on uh, Flashbang so Flashbang can actually do some damage um, this is 20% weapon damage, which is Aether, 178 fire damage, which is Aether, 126 chaos damage, which is Aether. Um, and it's only a 0.5 second cooldown, so I can spam it a few times. Um, I got Hulk mostly for the uh, reduced cunning requirement. Um, got Lion for the physical resistance and for the, uh, what's it called, uh, yellow because I needed to get the shield stuff. I took the this shield stuff because 20% shield damage blocked. Um, this does not matter. 6% uh, shield block chance and defensive ability. Uh, shield damage blocked. And uh, shield damage blocked. Took Spear of the Heaven because Aether damage and 95% of that lightning damage is also Aether damage. I took Blizzard because 16% weapon damage is Aether damage. And 95% of that cold damage is Aether damage, and I put it on Thermite Mine. Um, I have Widow on Fire Strike. Widow is 120% Aether damage, and 95% of Lightning damage is Aether damage. So this is a hyper Aether focused build, um, which I will level as Blackwater Cocktail, because you always level as Blackwater Cocktail for these builds. Um, and it's super defensive and tanky. Like, I think with a few, with components and augments and everything, and a few affixes that are pretty good, I can get to like 80% chance to block with like, like set 80% block recovery or something. So that'll be huge. That'll be like this. This is the build, like, this is the one I'm thinking about starting versus my Mage Hunter. So I have, like, my Mage Hunter starter, and then I have my Defiler starter. And these are the two that I'm really thinking about starting. Archon is one that I'm really interested in, but it's not the one I'm thinking about starting. I think Archon is just too weak right now because of the modifiers for both Shaman and um, Oathkeeper. So looking at where I was thinking about going with this build, I still don't really have no idea. But this is something I was thinking about going. Again, keeping the gun and the shoulders and that so I can have that 100% uh, elemental stuff. And then changing out the necklace. And the necklace gives me ravenous earth modified damage as well as aether damage to ravenous earth and turns ravenous earth to 100% aether damage and gives me plus one to all necromancer skills. So using this necklace, I basically swap to Ravenous Earth as my reduced uh, resistances and remove Blackwater Cocktail. So I swap Ravenous Earth with Blackwater Cocktail. Um, and on this one, I put Blizzard because I think Thermite Mine is a better thing to proc uh, Aether Fire because it's, it's constantly ticking its damage. And that's why that's what Aether Fire needs. It might be better to keep Ravenous Earth on there. I haven't really played much Ravenous Earth, so I'm gonna actually try that out tonight. Um, I got 20 of 20 uh, Reaping Strike, which is 30%. I'm at 20% for Necrotic Edge, which is again 119% weapon damage, Aether damage, Cold damage, 
aether damage and some vitality damage, which is a little bit of aether damage, not much. I believe I have 30, like about 30% 30 vitality damage as aether damage. So that's a, it's a good amount of aether damage. Still using the helmet, still using the gun, still using the shield. The shield's the main one. Uh, still using the same belt. Again, so I'm weak on the belt. Um, still using the impurity relic. Again, I'm thinking about swapping this relic with uh, serenity. I'm not sure yet, though. Um, but yeah, so the ravenous earth change here was nice. Um, I'm looking at getting the band of elemental haunt, which gives me more ill omen, which just saves me points because I'm not going to put more points into ill omen. Um, this is mostly to get more aether resistance reduction, as well as flat aether damage. Um, but sticking to these rings is not a bad deal because searing of the light is really nice as well, and I could actually have two really good. Uh, affixes on there, but ideally I'd get two of these bands. Um, these gloves, I'd keep these gloves. Um, these blue gloves are the best gloves in the game for this build, uh, especially if they can get up to 18% attack speed. Um, stun jacks doesn't matter, but uh, Aether Lightning uh, with only a 1.5 second skill recharge will just proc basically all the time, and that's just a sh crap ton more damage. Um, the Aether Walkers are super nice. Um, they give me more Spectral Binding. Hungering Reach doesn't matter. Uh, but they also give me Physical Res. And the Physical Res is really nice. As well as the Wraith Walk when I get hit. And that basically gives me... like So if they do hit me after like a block and everything, I'm getting movement, which doesn't matter. But I'm also getting 30% chance to avoid melee and 30% chance to avoid projectiles. So that's a huge defensive layer on top of everything else. Um, the pants, these are probably the best pants you can get because of the Elemental Seal, which Elemental Seal is basically all Aether damage for us. Um, chance when we're hit, we just drop an a uh, Elemental Seal and it does Aether damage for 6 seconds. And it's okay. Um, but we get Aether damage from this, defensive ability, and physical resistance. Physical resistance is a big key here. Um... The last thing was this necklace, or no, this thing. Um, this uh, metal gives us Reaping Strike and Aether Damage. Flat Aether Damage as well as regular Aether Damage and Total Speed, which is really nice. Maximum Fire Resistance is nice. Um, Dreadblade is nice, but it's not that great. Like, Dreadblade is only like, because 148 physical damage isn't that great, because we don't have that much physical to Aether conversion. Petrify is nice, but this, um, this petrifies. So, this is mostly here for the Reaping Strike and Aether damage. Um, our skills changed a lot because we swapped over to the Ravenous Earth instead of that. We have 20 Spectral Binding and Spectral Wrath. We reduce points in Mark and Torment. We had to reduce points in these to get other things. Still have this as much as we can, still have this at 11. We only have 23% chance in Paradigm and Fumble, which is fine. It's not that bad. And we put 12 points in Flashbang to get 250% reduced defensive ability. Um, chance to Confuse does not matter, but we should be dropping that for the Flame Torrent. Um, devotions did not change. They'll still be the same using these basic Devotions. Our chance to block, or um, we're, we're doing 2.65% attacks per second with 11% uh, lifesteal. So that's not bad uh, overall. And uh, still 61, 60 with 30, 20. But now we're up to 20% physical resist with this. Um, our overall resistances are a little bit worse from this, but we still have a lot of affects as we could get. And I've Again, I'm not 100% sold on these rings. It might be better to use two of the MI rings instead. Um, get more defensive ability and get more resistances and stuff from those. Um, especially because we only have 11... Like, that's the other thing. is With this build, pre all the buffs and stuff, we're only going to have 11,000 health. Um, we have no temporary buffs either on this build. So nothing changes. But this build is going to do a good amount of damage. Um, 
this is here. I probably should put this here. Um, I had moved this to the four button because the four button is where my, uh, my ring finger has to move to get to. Because originally, before I took uh, the shield, I was actually going for hourglass and I was using that to reset cooldowns. But I didn't really have a reason to reset cooldowns. It's not really a cooldown based build because I'm fire striking. Um, speaking of that, I did increase the points in Fire Strike uh, to getting this to more weapon damage, more area of effect. Um, the weapon damage is nice. Um, the area of, uh, the, again, physical damage is not really useful, but this is our biggest damage, and this as well. But so we have, for Fire Strike, we have 150% weapon damage. Um, and then on top of that, we'll get another 100. So basically, we do 300% weapon damage whenever we proc Reaping Strike, which is 30% of the time. And without any affixes, our weapon damage is basically 100, 100 Aether damage, plus all the different flat damage we get from it. So it's actually a lot of damage. This build is probably the tankiest of the three builds. The damage-wise, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just not sure I want to do a default attack build again because I did a default attack build recently. That's like one of the last builds I did before I stopped, before I took a break. But we'll see. Um, anyways, I'll see y'all next time.